Kremlin propaganda is directly responsible for Russia's genocide in Ukraine, war crime investigators say. This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. According to RIA Novosti, Russian state-owned domestic news, some examples of Russian propaganda given to its people regarding Ukraine are as followed. And also, Terrifying country is Russia. Too bad Russia has nukes. Otherwise we could actually change their ways. Just like how we changed Latin America and Middle East right. Pax Americana is holding and I have not seen Iraq invading its neighbors recently. Also, none of those places are committing genocide at the moment which is very much what Iraq was doing and Russia is doing at the moment. This seems to shock some people, but there are folks in the Middle East and North Africa who inflict suffering on their neighbors without Western help or knowledge, and even against the wishes of Westerners if any Western attention is paid at all. What happened to the Armenians at the end of World War I is hardly the only example of this, as Iraq was doing this to Kurds in the 80s. Many people seem to have this weirdly racist and imperialist belief that only the United States is an actor in the world, and all other peoples, especially brown people can bear no responsibility for their actions. It is all the white man's burden and the poor people simply cannot help but follow America's direction to kill each other I guess. That is why I think troll farms are valid military targets. Society needs to think about how free speech and curbing disinformation interact. Of course I can only imagine the disinformation campaign that would make such a serious discussion coming to any sort of consensus impossible. Especially if one party thinks it works in their favor, which is generally the case. It's like during the Rwanda genocide when the state propaganda on the radio was riling up the Hutus saying the Tutsis were vermin who must be exterminated. History really does repeat itself unfortunately. Greater than Russian propaganda initially claimed the war there was the Nazi fight Ukraine and help its people. I've always found it funny that Russian propaganda is all about dangerifying Ukraine and they even run that theme on their state-run media. When in truth, it is Russia that is acting more like the Nazis here. Yeah, there's this weird thing about this style of propaganda that causes cognitive dissonance. The earliest example I saw of this was with climate change denial. And I think it's plausible that Putin got this technology from or developed it with oil companies and is using it on Russians. It doesn't make sense as a strategy to invade a country for a few Nazis but it does make sense to use Nazifying propaganda to invade another country for a reason the population wouldn't support otherwise. The people in the POW interview really can't come to terms with Ukraine not being a Nazi state. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.